Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the monthly expenses versus budget report. So it's actuals versus budget. Um, so I have a little worksheet that I use. You can create your own. Um, and the worksheet is split out into the different sections that are like the line items on the budget. So what I usually do is I just print off one of those worksheets and then I collect any kind of receipts for anything that was purchased. And that includes anything like utilities, Nexacom, Kojiko, um, any, any kind of expenditures at all. And then what I do is um, I open up the, the various bank accounts. So um, there may, you may have um, more than one. You may only have one, but wherever purchases are being made from, that bank account needs to be opened up and all of the uh, purchases that are made by debit need to be recorded onto the worksheet. And it should be pretty self-evident what each of the purchases noted on the uh, bank account are for. Um, it could be just groceries or it could be, you know, a gift at a gift shop, but it would, it would sort of show, it might be gasoline, it might be, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Um, then it's kind of important to, if, if, uh, if the person at the center is making any purchases by cash, so say for instance, at the end of the month, they take out of the bank, um, a hundred dollars for spending money. And then they're using that money to purchase different things we need to kind of be watching what that money is being used for. And so that should be, those purchases should be recorded on the blog. So you might want to go through the blog and day by day and figure out when an, a purchase was made and what it was made for and, um, and then record that amount in the appropriate section in the worksheet. Um, so then you tally all the numbers in each section on the worksheet. And when you do this long enough, you'll start to notice some trends. You'll start to notice that, you know, if something really stands out, like, oh my gosh, like she spent $700 on groceries this month. What happened? You know, you, you would notice those things and you would be able to go back and, and sort through why that amount of money was being spent. It's a good um, double check to make sure that, that the person's money is being spent in the right manner. So you tally all those numbers, you kind of look to see if there's any um, insights or unusual amounts that you might want to note. And then there's an Excel spreadsheet that has everything, all of the line items shown there and the month each month of the year and you just go through and you put the numbers in and because it's an Excel spreadsheet it just tallies everything up and it tells you at the end whether you are over budget or under budget where you sort of stand with how the money is being managed um, and then hmm, then what I like to do is to maybe quarterly uh, just let everybody on the team know how the money is being managed. This is just the personal money. This has nothing to do with the money that is being spent on supporters or, you know, things like that. It's just the household money that's being managed. So I just like the team to know how the money is being managed, um, any insights, things that we need to be looking at like maybe cutting back on this so we can afford that or you know there's an upcoming trip or something that the person wants to be doing and and we need to be you know sort of robbing Peter to pay Paul so those are the kinds of things that will will be um, evident and uh, and then just you know after you've posted this kind of information on the blog so everybody knows what's going on just um, make any comments that are relevant and 
um, just be sure to thank everybody for doing a good job. That's all I like to say. <laughs>